Hopefully it will. Oh, oh wow, well, oh. we're live. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we are actually going to see some of the live mods that are here at the Cyber Media 24-hour competition. So we'll take you guys around the booth and we'll actually have a look at these amazing mods. Uh, you guys are actually going to see some pretty crazy things, I'm telling you. You guys yeah, will insane. enjoy this. Yeah. They're really cool. So uh, let's take you guys around and we'll have a look at them. Here we have case number one. Hold up, hold up. I've got to turn the, <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. Okay. Got to turn the camera Here around. Here is case number one. Case number one, guys. <laughs> custom reservoir inside you can see there with the blue liquid all made within 24 hours halo themed build look at that top there beautiful work there all with film take components as well look at that graphics card beautiful work check there. out this detailing on the, the side. detailing on the side okay. nice vinyl work on the side of the radiator there any work on the back Anything? A smidgen. <laughs> a smidgen. Oh yeah, yeah, they've got the uh, reservoir on the back there as well. So we'll move around to the second table and we'll check this out. Here we go guys, we have like some sort of cyber machine here. This looks insane. These are all Core P5 builds as well. You can see down below here, got some custom feet done on there. So we make our way up. Looks They've got the cool. silver tubing yeah, and good. the UV liquid. Cool. Let's head around the other side of it and check that out. We've got the uh, light at the front. We've got the green tubing and then we have an Ethan in the background with an Amelia. <laughs> the nice ring fans highlighting all of that uh, tubing there with all the liquid inside. All right, let's move around to the next one. The boys from the Philippines. Look at this one. Very nice mod here. We'll actually show you guys the uh, back of it while we've got some people filming the front. So that's the back of it where they can fill up those reservoirs. They've uh, got two filling sections and then down below we've got sections for where they can drain the liquid out. A pump on each side, so it looks like they've got two loops happening at the moment. And they've also got some acrylic panels on the front and the GPU lying down vertically with the thermal take flow meter in the middle there. Very nice work from the boys from Philippines. Definitely a uh, contender to take this out. Great work. All right, let's move along. The boys from Australia. Here we go. Okay, I'll show you guys the back of the case first. They've uh, cut into this and then they've also splashed some blood over this, they've Look put blood. Don't many <laughs> layers of paint over the case. You can see the uh, Wayland Industries logo there. And if you look closely at this reservoir, you can see it's all bubbled up. They actually used a heat gun on the acrylic to create that effect. And we'll come around this side. In the reservoir here, we actually have a little test tube alien moving around. And that's moving around from the flow of the liquid through the actual tube. Up the top here, we've got all of these paint details around the case. You can see that's the GPU and all of these little bits of metal all sticking up. Looks really nice. Let's go around the front and we'll check that out. Excuse me, excuse me. Squeeze past it. Yep. <laughs> around the front here, you can see that they've actually used a blowtorch to burn those holes through there. That thing actually set on fire. But uh, yeah, it looks great. We've got um, Ethan in the background again. <laughs> Lots of th 3D printed parts. And we've got this tail coming around here, which was also 3D printed. 96 hours, was it, to print it? Yeah. 96 hours to make that tail. Beautiful work. Very, very nice. tells you how long it prints for. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Beautiful work from the boys from Australia. We'll head around here, have a quick look at this from the side. This is uh, all airbrushed with a light behind there to light it up. Got the blue liquid shining through. Very nice paint job. There you go guys, so there's no glare for you. I'll show it 
that way. And all of the cables were actually hand sleeved at the show as well. I believe it or not, guys, it actually takes a while to do that. So not just hand sleeved, hand sleeved, made and handmade, handmade from scratch. <laughs> Very nice work. All right, and the last PC we have over here is the Chinese team. I know you guys are going to like this one. This is wicked. Holy shit. Look at this one. Hang on, let me pan out for you guys. Like, that's insane. Just take it all in. <laughs> so much what, to look at. What do you guys think? That is amazing. Wow. So we've got all the motors spinning the cogwheels around and we've also got this part here which is opening and closing probably using some sort of Arduino board it's insane wow brilliant work I'm actually going to upload a separate video on this PC uh, for you guys to check out more I'll get some nice close-up shots for it but uh, definitely great work by the boys from China you can see the alien head on the top there anyway guys I hope you all enjoyed this uh, quick brief overview of the PCs that were in the live modding competition let me know in the comments down below which one you guys prefer hope you all enjoyed and uh, we'll see you guys later on for another video Bye. <laughs>